Hello, everybody. Welcome to some Ultra, uh, some Chenzor Dynasty. I almost said Ultra Chen TV. Some Chenzor Dynasty. Gonna be playing some more Street Fighter V over here. Um, basically, gonna see if I can continue working my way up a little bit and trying to make sure that I can add some variance to my gameplay. Last time I played and I seem to actually be doing well by throwing in more spinning knuckles. If that's what it takes to get through the gold ranks, then that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do more spin knuckles, we're gonna do more uh we're gonna do more I think you can do that. Maybe not. But add more spin knuckles and just kind of throw more crazy things like that. So my catchphrase: Did he? Did he? Did he have the? Is it gonna kill? Did he say? Is it gonna kill? I'll have to take a look at this later. I could look at this later. Sakura. Ooh, in the Dan outfit. I like it. I'm down with that. Again, not a character I'm super familiar with. Not really sure what her game plan is all about, but uh, this is a platinum ranked uh, Sakura going against my crappy little ultra gold Kami here, so we'll see. Uh, not, not right now. Mondays is usually Street Fighter. Mondays has been generally Street Fighter. Fight. Okay, starting with fireballs, huh? Oh shoot, that was not what you wanted at all. Okay, start with the throw right away. Just kind of... God, her cross-up is good. Something I have to remember. Early establish... Wow, dash forward on Wake Up, huh? Okay, jumpy. Jumpy, Sakura. Whoa, I flipped way earlier than I thought. So I was trying to do quick rise, but the quick rise happened so fast after the slam, I didn't even know I had gotten up yet. Lots jumping from this Sakura, so just kind of keep that in mind here. Interesting here. Okay. I said a lot of jumping, very kinetic Sakura player. Sakura player is very oh Sanford's always mad about the game. That's not what I did, although it worked, because that's just how this game works. Oh, Jesus! Fine. Ah, damn. Okay, you faded me out. My God, really? Invincible uppercut for no meter. You win. Sakura is just—I don't. It's not even that she's scrubby. She's actually not. She's good. She's not like super good. The biggest problem with Sakura in this game is that her animations are so bad. That's like the worst part about this character. Ah, of course. Uh, don't want to play again. But dang, that was a really, very kinetic Sakura. And really, towards the end, I just had to take advantage of the fact that she was always dashing forward and stuff. So I was able to punish that a couple of times. And then 
uh, just kind of went nuts afterwards and she kept jumping over me and I kept walking under. What's up, Auric? How's it going? I didn't really have a chance to do any kind of crazy things against her. You know, I didn't get a chance to actually try to do any of my nutso stuff because she was so much more nutso than I was. So there was just no time for it, basically. So I didn't really have a chance to try that. I could never get her to stay still long enough to, for me to try any spin knuckles, really. Yeah, Sakura's animations are really, really, like, like, even when she wins and tries to do the little dance, the electric slide that she does, it looks really, really terrible. Like, she's just like, like, all of a sudden she forgot how to dance. Instead of actually having the nice flow to it, she's just like, I mean, come on, dude. Yeah. Ed is definitely a character that I don't have a lot of familiarity with, but I have to remember standing medium kick is plus one. So after I block standing medium kick, I have to be a little more careful. We've got a, another platinum. Wow, they're just throwing me against all these. Uh... Uh, I have seen the latest Sam Show gameplay. I'll talk about it more tomorrow on the Tuesday show, but... I have my concerns so far. I'm a little concerned about it, to be honest with you. But we'll see. Fight. Okay. Forward dash into throws, so aggressive play. That's plus. Tried to throw me again. too far for that. I just didn't combo because I suck and I guess we both suck. Wow, buttons, huh? Nice tech. Okay, he threw right away that time. Oh, you just countered like that! Even though I'm plus, you hit buttons! Alright, okay, okay. Alright, you hit buttons even though I'm plus. Good to know. Nice, Psycho Flipper. Okay, good anti-air. Jeez. Okay, he's got his anti-air on point, that's for sure. Oops, that was a missed shimmy right there. solid Ed footsies. The standing heavy kick is a danger for me because he moves forward on that and I think it's a forward dash and I might actually punch myself to get hit. But he does like the forward dash. See right there, that's tricky part right there. But he likes to hit buttons afterwards. He likes to check with buttons. And he definitely has a timing of when he likes to hit buttons, which I've managed to cross up a couple of times. Oh shit, he threw. See? He's a quick button checker. That was supposed to be uppercut in the super, but you know what? I'll take it. I was trying to do low strong uppercut super, but it just said, you know what? You want a super now. So you know what? I'll do it. <laughs> That's it. 
the Psycho Knuckle, I believe, is mm, it's minus. It's not punishable, but I'm pretty sure it's minus. If he V skills and charges and pulls you in, that is definitely plus. That one is definitely plus. So you have to be scared on that oh, one. Boy. But this is a quick Fine. button checker, so I'm gonna have to learn how to. See right there, I thought he was dashing forward and instead I got hit by the roundhouse. Nice. Ah, come on, really? It's dropping combos all over the place. Counter hit so he could combo off of that. Round two. Interesting. Point. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, see, I think that's a. That, I think that's a an attempt to dash forward, and that ends up killing me. Ugh, I missed my juggle. No jumping from this guy, though. Oh, psh! Kick me so it. I had meter. I had meter. I don't know why he did that. I had the meter for the V reversal. Not sure why he did that. Oh, I was trying to bait that. Oh no, I touched the button, I touched the button, I touched the button. That was bad. That was bad. As soon as he started charging up, I touched the button and then I knew I was going to get whiff punished, unfortunately. It's a very footsy play Ed player. And the tricky thing about the way that this Ed plays is that he doesn't really jump. And because Ed's anti-airs is just two kicks, he has the anti-air reaction at all the same time. Round one. Maybe I should go nuts like that every once in a while. Oh, dang, what? Nice! God, I hate that move. Okay, okay, I'll, 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 I'll eat that, I'll eat that. I was not expecting, I was trying to shimmy him. 
But then he did EX upper, so that's more power to him. That's crazy. Oh shit! That's not safe at all. Jesus. super miss how did that super miss I don't know how that super missed wow he threw oh nice back dash careful footsies. Very careful footsies. I was just very patient play there. It was almost like I was kind of, I've been kind of learning stuff from Tekken at this point. Being very patient, now pushing myself in, go ahead and block a bunch of times and just uh, be patient about things instead of going nuts about everything. had to be very, very patient. I didn't overextend myself. I just blocked. I wasn't trying to hit buttons too many times. I actually spent a lot of times not hitting buttons. So ironically, I came here to be crazier. But if you remember last, last two weeks ago when I played, I said that one of my problems was that I'm too crazy, yet at the same time not crazy enough and et cetera, et cetera. So it's kind of like this mix. I need to be more patient when it needs to be more patient. But if the opponent is defending all my stuff really well, not hitting a lot of buttons like that Ed was, I have to start throwing in a lot more things like the spin knuckles and the crazy hooligans and stuff like that and see that they actually work. So I can't play Ryu, dude. I can't play Ryu at all. Oh, is that you, the Tiggy? No, that wasn't body, dude. That was a great match. That was a really great match. Great Ed play, by the way. I had to be so patient against you, and I really liked that, actually. That was a lot of fun. Tried to do my day one trick. Ah, back roll. You weren't ready for that. See, right there, right there, I was walking back for a long period of time, and I was like, you know what? He thinks I'm being really defensive. Let me switch the offense all of a sudden, and sure enough, it worked. That's not a combo. 
back roll is not ready for it. I think the capture is just dropping frames. Wow. The capture is dropping frames all over the place right now. I've been having this problem with a couple of my recent streams, and I'm not sure what was going on, so... No, but Tiggy, you played really well, dude. I'm, I'm kind of scared of Ed, so... I had to, like, really buckle down and make sure that I was, like, super, like, clean. I had to make sure my match was clean against you. I wanted to, like try shenanigans and I couldn't do it so that was really really good Fight. he doesn't back roll it's the second time he's done that I had the right read just the wrong timing oh that was crazy that's plus you should know that's plus as a cami player that's plus, you can't be hitting buttons. Round two. Point. Oh, did we play a, a couple of times last week? Because I remember fighting a really good Ed and I lost at that time. And I, I'm trying to learn to be more patient all of a sudden, so. Oh, nice cross up. Disrespect! Oh shoot, do you see the rollback on that? Ah, oh, I was too far! Too far! That's fine, I'll take the throw. I'll take the throw. I'll take the throw. Oops. I I thought he was gonna V reverse oh he didn't I thought he was gonna V reversal perhaps. So I was gonna jab and throw the V reversal, but actually you can't throw Cammy's V reversal. You just have to block it and punish it now that I think about that. No, I, I definitely remember fighting an Ed and I ate a lot of standing medium kicks because also, I didn't realize standing medium kick was plus on block. So I kept trying to counter afterwards and I got blown up by it. So it's because of you that I ended up beating you this time. <laughs> because last time... It was because last time you blew me up with that standing medium kick. So now when I saw Ed, I was like, shit, I got to be a lot more careful about this this time. Yeah, the, the, the recent Tekken session that I just had, I think has just helped me just overall. Plus another thing too is I usually get worse as the time moves on. So I have to be careful of that. I have to be careful of overextending myself during these sessions. I wanted to grab some water, but I dropped my phone, shit. Oh, oh well, whatever. Ugh. I'll grab some water later because I also got to remember to stay hydrated too. Oh, never mind. I can get. Thank you. Thank you, Internet Denizen, for allowing me to get some water. Dropping my joystick, don't drop my joystick. Damn, I was thirsty. I just drank that whole entire thing. Standing mini kick is plus two on block? I thought it was plus one. Jesus, okay, plus two on block, so it's an extra dangerous move. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. I just grabbed the stick. 
So now some people are going to be mad at me. So, yep, Team Thirst is in full effect. I miss Team Thirst. I need to do some commentary with Jackie again soon. All right, patience. Play patient. Play patient. Play patient. But then also try to throw in every once in a while the craziness. Round Can't one. be just one or the Fight. other. Got to do both. Block on my part. Ow. Okay, he's jumping a lot, and I'm not anti airing them, so that's a problem. God, that was so much further than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I was just out of range! Okay. Very weird Akuma player. Very, very weird Akuma player here. Jumped a lot and then stopped jumping. Lots of neutral jumps, too. Okay, finally added the throw. Counter jab. Ow! All right. Okay, that time I just got, he just got Cammy. He just got cammied. I got the ability to kind of play my game and I got the win that round. So, uh, let's see. Too slow, Jesus. Okay, no anti-air still. Ow, and I'm just gonna get hit by that. That was weird. Now it's getting choppy, which is unfortunate, because it was okay just a while ago, but now it's getting really bad. Whoops, that was not a good idea. Oh shit, that's right, no delay. Fuck, I just wanted to try. I just wanted to try. I want to see if I can spin knuckle through that, but again, spin knuckle, garbage as anti-fireball move, because it is not projectile invulnerable until like frame 789, which is basically useless. see if the connection remains okay or if he quits because the connection was bad. Yeah, he quit because the connection wasn't very good, so. Sounds like a dog. Or he was a classic third round lag switcher and the, why he t the reason why he took a little while was because he had to turn off the lag switch, right? Yeah, that's what I'm going to blame it on. Because that's also more damage too, right? Because that's 168 damage. I mean, that's 172, so that is more damage. But what if they back roll? I wonder if that's a safe jump. Or does it just miss? No, okay, I just have to hit the button later. Jesus. That's so crazy. It just runs out really fast. No active frames on jump attacks. There you go. Another 
Oh yeah, no, no problem, Harlequin. Dude, it, it's it's such a different game. If you go into Mortal Kombat thinking that you could play Street Fighter, you can't. And it's the crazy thing about it is, I think it might be one of the most unique fighting games out there because Tekken and Soul Calibur share some mentalities. Street Fighter and like King of Fighters and Eunice share some other things and etc. etc. Dude, Mortal Kombat is like its own beast so much. Um, the buttons are decently loud, but the thing is, I also hit buttons very hard because I am an old school arcade player and I hit buttons really hard and these joysticks are actually designed to take this beating very, very much because that's what buttons are supposed to do. If they can't take that, then that's a problem. Patience and craziness. Patience and craziness. Okay, you have your anti-air. Little laggy, little laggy. Okay. Okay, lag and roll back. Dude. Didn't mean to jump. That keeps happening to me in every game that I play. Oh shit, she has V trigger too. I didn't even notice. I didn't even pay attention to that. Like, by the time she's starting it up, she's already halfway through the move. Okay, Tekker. This person is an avid Tekker. That's not what I did. punish on this lag. Oh, she might not even be seeing the lag, to be honest with you. There's no way I'm here confirming that in this lag. Dude, ah, oh God, I can't play this way. Fuck no, if, if the beta is any indication, the MK netcode is gonna be amazing. The netcode is gonna be amazing. Oh, what's up, NV NVA bomb? God, it's just like, you can't play in this environment. Every time I play in this environment, it like, it's frustrating to me. Like, you see this, and it's just like, you, you can't play. You know what I mean? It's like, you just, like, there's just no way to really play. Uh. Was that you, the Karen player over there? Freddy, was the connection for you bad? Like, I had to, I put you on the blacklist, I'm sorry, I apologize, but I could not play. Cause like, you would do V-Skill, and I would only see it start up halfway through the, the move. Like, it would just be like, walk, walk, eh, V-Skill, and I just got hit by that. Ah, oh, you see? That's the worst thing about this netcode, is that you can't tell if the other person's netcode is seeing the same thing or not. 
like at least in other fighting games when you have bad net code you're pretty confident that both players have the same shitty connection but in street fighter 5 it's always one-sided so it sucks because then you can't tell if the other person is bad or if you're good or or even my matches that are great i'm like yo this match is great this is playing good and then the other person is just running into all sorts of bad lag problems and i don't even know so he can't hit confirm anything either it's it's so bad yes no street fighter 5 is one of the only ones that has the one-way lag and that is why it's so terrible that's why it's like so like like it's it's inexcusable for capcom to have it still be like this to have the lag be one-sided when the fix isn't even that big of a deal mike z already says he knows exactly what it is no it's just it's bad implementation of rollback netcode like i said mike z already knows what the problem is because he saw the problem already when he was making skull girls Shit, nice. I like the wildness. Yeah, he's working on a game called Indivisible right now, so. They, they, they have to know. The problem is, is that how do you convince a Japanese office when they, when they play the game in Japan the game is amazing with their net code, right? So this guy, if he doesn't challenge me again, maybe the net code is bad for him. I don't know. Maybe he's having trouble net code problems, right? I mean, that's the worst thing about this whole tire thing is that it's impossible to tell. Ooh, look at me with the whip punish. Okay, nice. The net code? I think the net code from 4, I don't know, 4 had delayed net code, so it's hard to say because delayed net code kind of sucks.
can chip me to death. This is the dangerous part. Oh, I was going to chip him to... Oh, he had a V reversal. I would have been in bad trouble right there. I didn't think he had built the meter yet. I was just going to go in crazy and chip him to death, but he would have actually had the meter to, to, to got, get out of that. Yeah, rollback is by far a better choice. It's just that they implemented it so badly. Do Karen builds meter fast because she has a usable V skill. They really have to be careful about that. The one thing that this game, the balance is the hardest thing that for them to take care of is the usage of V meter. Some characters can build their V meter so quickly that it's like a two bar or a three bar V trigger is different for them. Other characters, they can't build it up at all, right? And so they really need to do a better job balancing from the V V bar section, which is kind of why I almost believe that there shouldn't be a two or a three bar. I think there should just be a two and a half bar, make everything universal, and then just balance the V trigger out a little bit more and make the V skills a little bit different. Uh, I don't know. Oh shit, I think it's Tiggy again. I think I'm playing Tiggy again. Oh great. Oh man, here we go. So now I'm gonna just throw out fake info. You know what, I'm just gonna keep V-skilling this whole entire fight and jumping a lot because I don't think he can anti-air. So watch, at the start of the round, I'm gonna jump at this Ed because last time he had no anti-airs at all. So I'm just gonna jump at him and just neutral jump and do all this stuff all over the place. Watch me, I'm gonna jump at the beginning of the match. All right, I did it. <laughs> Okay, now I'm being a jerk. God, his cross up is so good. Okay, again. Lots of button checks. Okay. Take that throw. God, I can't even quote it right now. You felt one of the greatest but never get involved in a land war in Asia, but only slightly less well known as this. Never going against a Sicilian when death is on the line. <laughs> Ow. So you drop that combo to jump to punish the roll, which looks like it's going behind. Uh, it's my stream. My stream looks terrible right now, Teldil, and I'm not sure why.
My internet is actually ridiculous. It's actually my laptop. Is, I think it's because it's overheating. I actually need a new laptop. And you know, I had heard Asus monitors were really good for streaming, but then that news article came out talking about how the the Asus monitors had that uh had that uh freaking what do you call it? That stupid uh back door thing all of a sudden. Which either means Asus is now going to be the safest oh, laptop to buy because they're not going to do that anymore to try to fix their PR or they're just not trustable and it's hard for me to tell which one I should, which way I should look at it now. Cause it's like whenever the fast food restaurants have the poison, like whenever someone like gets poisoned from them, they actually become the safest restaurant to actually eat at in a weird way. Ooh, buttons. Oh, okay, that doesn't go through. God, that's so lame. I was too far away again! I was too far away! It was low! No, it was Aces. Aces. It was just like this morning that they called it out. Oops. You walked into my range. I wasn't expecting that. And I decided not to uppercut, but my body uppercut it anyway. You ah, you roundhouse! Yeah, I don't know what's wrong right now, but it's been happening the last couple of two days. But the thing about it is, it's also coincided with it being really, really warm in my home so if I feel my laptop right now it's actually kind of on fire so that's one of the things that I've got a uh, I, I oh, need boy. to figure something out I need a new laptop and like I said I wanted to go Asus but now all of a sudden Asus is a bad idea so that sucks Dude, I, dude, dragging my studio computer here. Too dangerous, Boats and Joes. You've seen how badly my stream falls apart whenever I move anything. And you want me to move my stream equipment? good controlled chaos round that I just did right there. That was a good example of how I wanted, I should be playing controlled chaos.
Nice. Play by the studio computer, Weird. actually. I could definitely do that. <clears throat> I did see that it was coming out on the Switch later on, so. Yeah, good games to Tiggy. Dude, the games are, the, the games, like I said, they're really good matches. Like, I feel like we're both playing at a very, very strong level. So that's actually really cool. We're playing real Street Fighter right now. We are actually playing real Street Fighter. So that's actually kind of exciting about that. Uh, Power Rangers coming out. $20 for the Switch. Why not, right? Why not? Probably. Well, I don't know. We'll see because Clockwork's on the team. Maybe he was telling them, like, please just license it. Uh, Tekken Cross Street Fighter is not dead. It's Tekken 7 because that's Tekken Cross Street Fighter, Cross Final Fantasy 15, Cross The Walking Dead, Cross King of Fighters, which is better. What do we need Tekken Cross Street Fighter for? We don't need it anymore. I don't even feel like it's a necessity. I feel like that would just be wasted development cycles, to be honest with you. Tekken 7 is like so good, like does it really matter? I'll eat a fireball, I don't care. Some block overhead. That's great. Let's do it if he misses. Oh, we trigger two. <laughs> okay. I have to learn something completely new. Round two. Damn, non ages. God, his dash is so good. Best dash in the game, man. He has that season one Charlie Nash dash, is what it is. Wow, safe meaty, safe meaty. Final round. Fight. Nice link. This is a very interesting Urian. I don't feel like this Urian plays like the other Urians that I know. This, I mean, including the fact that he uses V Trigger too. I hate fighting this character in general. Well, we don't know that yet, Boats and Joes. We actually don't know that yet. We don't know what kind of gameplay it has right now. We'll have to find out. Round one. 
I don't know. I can't remember. I think you can filter by region. That, okay. I die by Urien's dash more than anything else because that thing is so fast. Oh, Jesus. And I think that's why it's so fast, too, is because you're so scared of the EX charge. And so it's hard to react to the forward dash confidently knowing that you aren't going to die. See, like that, right? Like, you have to play so careful because of that. This guy walked back a lot. Yep, just like that. I should have just drilled. Oh, shit. That's right. I forgot about that. Oh shit, that's right. I totally didn't remember that that's what that does. Oh my god! Okay, yeah. <laughs> I can't fight this character, dude. Fuck this character. Fuck this character. Look, I made a combo video for X-Men Next Dimension before that game came out. That was an old PS2 game, okay? I made a combo video for that game before that came out and I made it look sick as fuck, right? But I was also told not to do certain things because they were all bugs. And there were bugs everywhere. And I was, look, you can make anything look good if you know how to do it. Right? They can purposely not show some of the less less savory parts about a match and stuff like that, so. Dude, I can't fight Urien because his forward movement is too good. Dash is too strong because he has Nash Season 1 Dash where you can't see the beginning of his dash. At least I feel that way. And on top of that, he's got EX Charge, which, thanks to the six frames of lag, is literally unblockable without predictive blocking, right? So at this range right here, if I'm not blocking beforehand, I'm eating EX charge. Like there's just like literally the input lag means I cannot block it in time because it's like a seven frame startup. And if there's a six frame lag, I have one frame of reaction time to actually block. So to fight against Yuri, you have to do this all day. You have to do this all day, which then lets him dash forward. And I don't know how to handle both of those at the same time, basically. I don't know how to handle both of it at the same time. And I, I wish I did. Never worth it to do, but it's the only hard combo that Cammy has. So it's the only thing I ever do in training mode. <laughs> Dude, I've heard Fight of Gods, is, it's just one of those, like, broken fun games, you know what I mean? It's just like, it's a Kusoge game, right? Like, you can actually Kusogi that game really, really well. Well, I mean, MVCI is the best example of that, right? MVCI is a poorly presented game that's really, really actually fun. 
And it's just unfortunate that that's just the way it works. I gotta poke with this every once in a while because this is four frames, right? So if I do something like this, I need to do that basically because then you can uh, link it on, confirm it on link and it's four frames so it'll beat other buttons and do more damage than just doing jabs and stuff like that. So, well, MBCI is not Kusoge, but Fight of Gods is definitely Kusoge. Uh, it wouldn't be a two-hit combo video. It would be a three-hit combo video, right? That's what that would be. And considering the two-hit combo video took me two years to make, uh, I guarantee you that there will not be a 2019 uh, three-hit combo video. It would probably be 2021, if anything. That's actually kind of one of the reasons why I'm worried about um, uh, Sam, the new Sham, Sam Show game. I actually think the animation is too smooth. I don't like the fact that the animation is too smooth. I wish they, they, they applied a little bit of a filter on it that made it a little more janky-ish. Like the, the reflect, like before when it was literally like ping and then you were back like on the next frame going ping like that. Like, I miss that. They have that animation, but it feels slower in this game. You did a video on Avatar Fighters? What? What's Avatar Fighters? I don't even know what that is. Sam Show 5 is really fun. I mean, uh, I've heard that game is really competitive. Uh, oh, Whitey JP, JPS. Dude, I can't fight Urian, dude. And when you picked V Trigger 2, I was like, oh yeah, it armors. And I completely forgot. So uh, that definitely threw me off. But I cannot fight Urian at all because I can't play him on the ground because his EX is too fast. EX charge is so fast. Whoops, back roll. Ow, that's no good. so awkward that hit so well oh no no that's why I taunted back I was like he taunted all right I'll taunt back so I, I could tell it was all in good fun so it's all good dude I recognize that no no harm done at all whatsoever oh that was the option Uh, the connection was fine. Connection was fine for us. It's just general input lag obviously makes Urian EX shoulder charge unblockable. Oh my god. Wow, you landed with a button. That was supposed to be an EX dive kick and it came out as jumping roundhouse. That was supposed to be EX dive kick and it didn't come out. Oh, I hate that. 
I wish I could like see the, I mean, I could go back to the replay and see the inputs. They should be able to show you your own inputs while you're playing online, to be honest with you. That would actually be really cool if you were able to do that. Because if you could do that, then you could actually look and go, oh, okay, I messed up with this way. Or why didn't that come out? That must have been too high up. Or I must have been did it too fast or something. Ow. This guy likes to tech throws, okay. He just took the hit? Okay, that's a different way to do it. Read the backdash finally. God, this doesn't do any damage to this character. Is he gonna wake up super? What do you think? Okay, he's super there. I like it. I like that super a lot. I like that soup. Oh, I'm alive. I stood up. I stood up. I saw that and I stood up. It's so hard to tell how high I am with everything that this character does because he's such a weird height. Oh my god, he's taking the hit, which is really weird. I'm not, I'm thinking he's gonna block. Look, I have the life lead, dude. <laughs> How do you miss that thing? I did that dive kick point blank to him and it like scoop right through over his head. Dude, my reactions are terrible, dude. Well, no, they're they're just flawed because I react to jumps right away by walking, but I can't react to like a bunch of other things. 
So again, it's just one of those situations where I can't fight characters who outrange my character. I don't know how to fight those characters because I, I, it makes me scared to push buttons on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how to, uh, I'm not sure how to deal with Abigail yet. Abigail's a tough one to fight for me because he outranges me everywhere. So I'm scared to play footsies with him. Thirty-two, you are a baby, Whitey. You are such a baby. You've just reached the best part of your life, basically. Thirties are gonna be the best time of your years, basically. Thirties are always the best time of your life because you don't think you're invincible. You're not an asshole anymore because you're 21 and you think you know everything because you're an adult now. And then 30 is when you find out that, oh, wait a minute, I'm actually human. I need to do something good with my life. And you become a better person when you're 30 years old. Because as soon as you hit that 30, you're like, oh my God, I'm old. No, when you hit 40, trust me, then you feel like you're old. But before that, like it's, it's you're, you're an asshole. You think you're invincible. You think you rule the world. You think the world owes you shit. And then as soon as you get to the 30s, you find out that the world doesn't owe you anything. Well, yeah, 30s are awful for dating, but if that's a priority for you, like, I, I kind of gave up on that shit a long time ago because being 30 and trying to date is, like, a complete useless situation, especially when you're surrounded by a bunch of 20-year-olds uh, in, in the fighting game scene, so... Okay, Jumper Zangie. Jumper Zangie, if I gotta keep that in mind. Oh shoot, what did he try? Dude, Gamer B is 40 and he's still younger than I am, dude. So, oh dang, he took off the mask. punched into it. Fierce is like the be worst button in that situation right there. I was waiting for that jump too, which is the ironic thing. Why do I even try? I just got sucked in. I didn't block. Well, I never left Cammy yet, so. Final round. Fight. Oh my God! I I respect that. I respect that. I respect it.
good. He's teching finally. Oh my god. Nice, 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 nice. No. Oh. There go. <laughs> I thought that was enough to kill. I was wrong. I was wrong. I drained him to zero health. You see that? I got him exactly to zero health. Ugh, man. I should have did heavy punch into uppercut is what I should have did. Or I should have just did strong, strong uppercut into super is what I should have did. That's true, I could, well, if he hits a button, I get hit out of the air, that's the thing. But he wasn't hitting a button, so that's actually true. Oh, that was far. Nice, I like it. Oh shit, I just dashed into that somehow. Whoops! He just activated right when I was trying to activate that was just bad coincidence right there. I was already mashing for just the raw activation. Oh, delayed, delayed SPD. But it was the jab one.
lot of platinum players today, which I kind of appreciate because I've been playing a lot of really good footsie matches. I've been playing a lot of good footsie matches. Like the Tiggy was a good footsie match. The Whitey JPS, well, that was a good footsie match. I think it was Aaron who was a good footsie match. So I'm getting a lot of good footsie matches here. Not as many wild and crazy people who are just like going nuts. That was actually a sick ass confirm. Oops. Nice tech. find a range to get away from that. That was nice. Oh no! Oh, that was kind of cool. That was kind of cool. Ah, the jab, the jab, the jab, the jab. Oh man. I got impatient there. See, I should have waited again like I had been doing earlier, just being patient, patient. Did you really buy me Power Rangers? I was gonna buy it anyway, Boats and Joes, Jesus. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> It was, it was another problem again, I wasn't anti-airing. Whenever he dashed forward and jumped, if he did dash and jump, he built distance on me because I was so scared of the dash that I wanted to get away from the dash that then he would jump and my brain wasn't on the jump anymore, so. Well, I was planning to get uh, the Power Rangers 2 with that money, so. I mean, the Blaster Master 2. Oh, thank you, Alive Inside. Was she around here somewhere, or did I just miss her? Oh. 
what's going on, Kakarot? I'm trying to get there, but it's not easy, man. I've been losing a lot of close matches just now. A lot of very, very close matches. Uh, using the Victrix, the v Victrix Pro AS. Uh, advanced stick, I think. Falk you. Okay, I'll take it. choice to start right away. most basic of ass combos oh my god really No, 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 it's just, I don't know what the hell is going on in the background. I hit the right button. I didn't jab him out of the air. I actually did the right button. Win. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a very expensive joystick. It's only for those who really, uh, who really. I mean, but the but the actual stick. I mean, like, and you can't really put stick art on this unless you engrave it on there. But you can engrave it for free at any event that you find a, a Victrix oh, booth. They'll engrave it for you. I like that. Oh, I can't do that. Nice. I even 
remembered to build meter. I even remembered to build meter. Round two. Point. going crazy uh, I, I know I want to use my logo but I don't have my logo in a good Photoshop Illustrator style right now Just trying to build super meter right now. I'm just blocking to build super meter. There we go. So all I was doing was blocking to build super meter because <laughs> he had no meter for a V reversal. So I was like, Block, 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 super meter, let's go. Good fight though, good fight there though with Falkyu. I actually, that was, kind of enjoyed that. It was a good fight. I mean, I would actually like to see them not do any more characters after this season. There's no way we're getting Street Fighter VI next year. So if they do a season five, I hope they spend their resources on a system change instead of characters. Like actually just take the time to do some system changes and stuff like that. I think that would actually be really nice because they need a more defensive option. They just need to fix the fucking net net code dude they just need to fix the fucking net code in this game oh god i'm so scared i'm terrified uh, i'm gonna play it on a stick that's how i played the old mk games i played it on a stick so well i mean i want at least three more characters in this season at least three more characters just so we can balance the character select screen out. They don't fix anything. I I don't I just don't even know what to do. And and that, that honestly is the Round correct one. thing to expect given the history that we've gotten so far. That's not what I did. Not what I'm doing. Wow. That fireball startup is so fast. It's like just as fast as the freaking um stupid Yuri and EX tackle, dude. Like you can't block it on reaction.
how you hit it. Wow, you are a tech monster. Woo through! He got hit by Crouching Strong and his reaction is to throw. He got hit by, he was mashing throw ahead of time and he kept mashing it and it buffered so that when I walked up, he fucking threw after he got hit. There was no way he reacted to me walking forward. God, G is like, I don't know what to do against this character. That standing medium kick just owns my soul for free, basically. And see, that's the problem. You can't poke because then he can whiff punish you. that hit me out of the air. That fireball should have absolutely no air hitbox. trying to think about what I was supposed to do afterwards. You win. Is that what he's actually called? I didn't even notice. I mean, is that basically what it is? All right, then forget this guy, dude. Right, but it's hard to tell. Is it actually that's what the joke is, or or is it not? You know what I mean. So, and if that's what his dojo used to be called, then fuck it. Then then fuck it. I mean, because if that's true, then yeah, then that's the end of that, right? So. Then you don't even have to question it at that point in time, so. Oh yeah, you know all the specs and everything like that, Orc? Because uh, I can send it to you. Um, DM me to remind me. Uh, Hado said he would do it as well, but I just keep forgetting to send it to him. But if I can just get something quickly enough for a Victrix logo, that would be really cool. Oh shit, it's this guy again. Well yeah, I mean, we used to say that on commentary all the time, Naughty Senpai. But that doesn't make it okay. 
I used to use that word all the time when I played MVC3 and when I commentated MV3, MVC3, but I don't use it anymore because it is an offensive word and people get offended by it and I'm not going to use it anymore. It's a, it's a, it's a bad word to use, so I'm not going to have it anymore. Fight. It's interesting. Kind of messes up the anti-air factor there. What, where's my quick rise? I have seen that movie a lot, yet I've only seen like the first 10 minutes of it once, I swear. Yeah, but immature language sucks. I don't even use it on my daily basis. Like swearing, I'll say fucking shit and damn and ass and all that stuff all day. But like there's just certain words that there's just no reason to use it because there's like 7,000 other words you can use instead. Why use that word when you can use body, which is just as funny and not as offensive, right? So like, who cares? Like it just doesn't even matter at that point. Nice. Yeah, I know it's not real. I know it's not real. I He's just been chasing me and stuff, so I was just kind of scared. that just beats my move like that. ready for the jump that time oh my god uh. yeah 
but not in senpai but see that's the thing right like there's clearly like when you talk about alcohol and stuff like that like that's clearly not like a common thing right that's just like one person kind of a reaction right that's the thing right i mean there's just there's just no like it's it's just it's a terrible word to use like there's just nothing wrong with using the, there's nothing wrong with getting rid of that word it's just like all the principles and everybody's always like but where do we draw the line da, 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 da. like we draw the line when the when the word actually causes like PTSD for a bunch of people legitimate like terrifying kind of situations like that like if you are a person and you told me not to say the word alcohol but see, that's the other thing too is like I'm not using the word alcoholic in a casual sense right I'm never going around going yo we alcoholic him woo right like I'm not using it in a in a casual made light sense right that's the whole point when you use that word in a language in commentary or just when you're talking casually among your friends you're lightening so nobody says the word alcoholism or alcoholic and tries to do it in a fun cutesy way like it just doesn't happen if they why would you allow this stage Two jabs into a very long walk-up throw. Round two. Point. Huh, where's my drill? done yet. Take the damage now. That's why I'm doing it because it's hard to get the good damage that I want. So I might as well take the damage now and I'm winning. So I'm just gonna chill back here now.
just trying to watch for the jump. That's all I was trying to do, and yet I still somehow didn't block the jump. I still didn't block the jump for some, I mean, I still didn't anti-air the jump. That's all I'm trying to do at the end was walk up to him and anti-air the jump. It's all I want to do, and I 100% failed that again. I failed that because he jumped at me like three times and I didn't anti-air him. God. <sighs> Round one. Fight. Are you serious? Oh my god, see, I'm just trying to anti-air. This is just, I'm just trying to anti-air. Wow! I thought everybody said that just works as an anti-air. Dude, it does not work at all. I have not been landing that as an anti-air to save my life. So weird. Oh boy, that was a lot of work to fight this guile. That was definitely a calculated guile play right there. But man, do I have no anti-air. So I, they just nerfed the back medium punch. It's just not as good as an anti-air anymore, huh? <sighs> Cause I know they nerfed it. I didn't know they nerfed it that bad. See, like I'm hitting her right now. Was it just like, I swear that this is kind of the stuff that I was doing right here. 
Like, it was just missing, but I'm hitting her. Is it just God has a weird jump box? Or was I just doing it that early or something? It's very weird. To be also honest with you, that stage does mess up my, like, my, the jump timing, so. Yeah, I mean, the DP whiff, but I thought I was far enough away that the back medium punch would actually still work. That was a different guile, I'm pretty sure. I wonder if he places that stage on purpose because it's, like, harder to judge. The craziest thing too is that I always thought the Sobat was negative on block, but I guess he was doing it at always the range that it was plus. So he was just doing it at the right ranges. That hook, line, and sinker right there. I actually tried to tech, and I never tech. I didn't think it was going to be. You win. I think the DMC guy said he would like to make the fight next fighting game or something like that. Uh, I get more. I'm getting more higher ranks today, actually. No, I guess today I'm getting a few more lower ranks. So. I know, right? It sucks. It makes me so sad. because you can just do that. So I just got baited. I just got hit because he was like, I can do this and I'm safe. Actually from that range, he might not have been safe, so.
final round. Fight! Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it was interesting because they added a little bit more delay to the end of the sonic boom, but I don't think that was the right way to change him. I think they should have just made the flash kick take longer to charge up. The anti-air flash kick should have taken a lot longer to charge up. That's what they should have done. Oh, the anti-air. My ever, my ever terrible weakness, the anti-air. Oh shit! I even did the right move for damage. I even did the right move for the damage. Oh shit! Jab the jab the jab. You win. I'm not I'm glad that I baited those wake up supers out of him twice. I just kept punching super early to make it look like I was doing something, and I baited his super twice. So I'm like actually happy about that. Hyper fighting is massively balanced. Are you kidding me? That game is like one of the most balanced fighting games ever. I think it's probably the most balanced fighting game, uh, Street Fighter game, except for uh, Street Fighter V. <laughs> Honestly, I think Hyper Fighting is the most balanced, and then Street Fighter V is the next most balanced, so. And one of the reasons why I actually think that Street Fight Hyper Fighting is so well balanced is because it was made by an American team, I don't know. I would have made it so that Guile's flash kick, the anti-air one, roundhouse one, took longer to charge. The light kick one for combos was quicker to charge, but has no anti-air. That's how, oh God, I'm dead. That's how I would have did it, to be honest with you. I would make it so that he could still do his upside down kick, low strong, flash kick combos with the light flash kick, but his anti-air would have to be the heavy kick one, make the heavy kick one take longer to charge. So if you jumped over a sonic boom, he actually can't flash kick you so easily every single time. A big fighting game came out that was very balanced. Uh, I mean, there technically has almost never been except for hyper fighting. I don't know another game that really has had that kind of ability.
Another character whose buttons are so much bigger than mine, I don't know how to fight him. Ah, uh, he was too far. Where's my dive kick? Uniel wasn't particularly balanced, actually. Uh, Eunice, I think, is more balanced than Uniel. See, if I fight a character who beats me in footsies, I don't know how to win. I really need to talk to a Kami player and ask them how they fight characters like G who have the standing medium kicks or the birdies who have the standing heavy punches and the standing medium kicks. This is also why I can't beat Birdie, cause, I mean uh, Alex, because his low strong beats me up. So I don't know how to fight characters like this. When I get out range like this, it's just really right. bad for me. And see, that's an attempt to whiff punish a ground move and then he jumps and so all I do is just whiff my button in the air into nothing. Man, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fight characters with better buttons than me. And I have no anti-air because I'm focused so much on the ground game, trying to whiff punish things, that I can't anti-air anything. Waiting for that. Sucks. <laughs> now, I don't know how to fight people with better buttons than me. It's such a consistent theme when you watch me play these games that I don't have the ability to beat people with, with buttons that outrange mine.
Oh, if I had a zero frame walk up SPD, <laughs> it would be a very, very, very different story. It would be a very, very different story. And if I had a sweep that was completely safe on block and hit super, super fast and reached really, really far and had a standing light kick that literally has no recovery frames, yeah, that would work. I think that would work. <laughs> Now, most people actually think KOF was pretty bad, right? <sighs> yeah, obviously after a while it's been fixed. necessarily to make it more fun in my opinion because to be honest with you balance doesn't make a game fun it's just that it's honestly balance is more of an esports thing than it is actually a fun thing because it just sucks for people when their character is just no good and they're trying so hard to win but their character is just not good right Unbalanced games can be fun. Balanced games can be fun. Exactly. It, it's it's not a factor in there. So I think balance is in there just to make it so that you can use a character and actually use the character. Like it's always kind of depressing that you know when you play MVC two, you can't really play Felicia, right? Yeah, Mr. Keebler, I mean, like, I'm trying to walk in and out, but I just keep walking into the medium kick and the heavy punch because they have such various, various dis dis distances. And then my other problem is when I'm playing so hard on the ground, I can't anti-air, which is really bad, bad. Felicia's actually good in Darkstalkers. Oh shit, okay. It's not ready for that. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Raptor, I mean, uh, Talbane is just a better version. Vortex to death. You lose. Uh, I always wanted to play the Felicia BB Hood and a Karis team, is what I wanted to do.
Not this time. Not this time. I'm ready for it this time. Round two. Point. Good, laying on the fireball. You still tried it even though I punished you every single time, huh? Okay. All right. Final round. Yeah, I was waiting for that so I can actually that's the only move that gets under her volt charge her her thunder claps. So the only move that makes it under there is the sweep. Round one. Fight. Buttons the young wake up. Just delayed into the command throw that time. Round two. Point. I didn't need to spend all that meter, but I needed to win. Final round. Fight.
likes to hit buttons on wake up. He likes to hit button on wake up, so I have to go for the me proper meaty timings. I just had to trust my meaty timings in that stuff. Uh, I probably did, didn't I? I just walked and then she just jumped over me, right? Was it the jump that she basically got over me? Or was it, or did I, you mean I backed myself into the corner? Worst Capcom fighting game is probably Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and then probably Capcom Fighting Evolution. <laughs> I just don't like that game. It's the only fighting game, one of the only fighting games that I actually will talk shit about because I just think it's such a bad game. <clears throat> Are you serious? Was there just nobody playing? Yeah, I mean, the only problem with that Laura was that Laura had too much muscle memory. Too much muscle memory that uh, she just flow charted her way through a lot of stuff, unfortunately, that she shouldn't have. A lot of overheads, a lot of standing medium punches into into Avant, Avante, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that she shouldn't have done. Uh, once she learns how to, once that Laura player learns how to get out of those habits, uh, that's gonna be a really good Laura player, but also the footsies may be a little bit too limited likes hitting buttons too much too much of this too much of this and not enough of just this right like this needs to be a little bit more I think so children of the atom was a great game man that was the start of everything man that game was broken as fuck because there was infinites for 10 years and stuff like that but you know, that's how it just goes, so. The sprites were so beautiful in that game. Holy shit. That game was such a pretty game. Holy shit. Yeah, Street Fighter V does require you to play pretty perfectly. And, um, I mean, again, that's one of my complaints about the game, right? Like, I don't feel like there's enough room in this game to let people kind of go wild and, you know, like, uh... That, I mean, just invincible uppercuts that don't necessarily get you killed and stuff like that, you know. I miss that kind of stuff, to be honest with you, so. Dude, that game is so stupidly broken. Holy crap, dude. That game is like, it's so stupidly broken. You guys should play with Dogface one of these days, Auric. The animations in X-Men vs. Street Fighter are not as good because there has more uh, memory constraints. There's more memory constraints on that because it needs to have four characters in memory. That's why MVC2 is so goddamn ugly because that game needed uh, six characters in memory. So they had to kill a lot of the animation. Children of the Adams and Marvel superheroes are always going to be the prettiest ones because it was one-on-one. -on -one. They only knew, needed two characters. And Children of the Adam and Marvel superheroes are so pretty. Music in MVC2 is amazing. Don't hate on it. I'm gonna take you for a ride. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Dude, that's why everybody hated it. They saw that, they were like, fuck this game and four button shit, right? Like, everyone hated it, and now the game is amazing. Uh, I, I, I probably should, actually. Come on. 
you got a heartache. Dude, the horn section, like, Eugene just tweeted that today. The horn section kicks in that game, dude. Round one. <laughs> Fight. Do you want me to kill you? What is happening here? What is even happening here? This does feel like a robot in a weird way. This is my last game. So on that note, I think I'm just going to take the points and run. Okay. What is, yeah, no, I'm not even gonna ask. Anyways, okay. I think I'm gonna call it a night for Street Fighter. I don't know why he readied up again. It was very strange. I'm, I'm, the only thing I can think is he's like, oh my God, it's James Chan. Here, take my points. Here, take my points. But I don't know if that's actually the case or not. That would be very weird. Um, oh, what's up, Beast Mode? Good matches, by the way. That, uh, uh, I was saying on stream earlier that your Laura was really, really good, but you autopiloted a little bit too much. Too many overheads off of the cancels, and then too many uh, avant Avantes off of cancels as well. You had a lot of the right ideas, but I felt like there was a little bit of autopilot in your game that I was able to take advantage of a little bit. I probably could have punished the command dash a lot better than back throw, but I was just terrified. Also in footsies, I think there was just a little bit too many buttons a little bit too much of this instead of just kind of walking back forth like this and not doing much you know kind of thing like that so but otherwise I thought that you played really really well beast mode I thought your Laura was really good a lot of good mix-ups do that one time you did like EX fireball walk-up throw was really really good so yeah you're trying to check my dash dashes and walking but it's tricky that way plus because you're hitting the buttons like that, you're telegraphing to me what it is that you're trying to do. I don't want to dash because I see you doing this. So I'm not going to dash. So instead, I'm just going to walk up and medium kick poke you. I did a decent amount of damage just by doing this. I wouldn't dash because you're always hitting buttons like that. So kind of in that way. So, But like I said, otherwise, I felt like you did really, really well. Those are like the little things that I would say. Uh, you, I mean, you clearly almost beat me, so uh, you were right there. So, like I said, you did really, really, really well. So, <laughs> a lot of people have beat me. Boats and Joes. Where did it go? Where is Nathan? Of all the cats that I can't find right now, it's Nathan. Where the hell is Nathan? Nathan! Meow!
How is that the best thing to happen to the anime communities? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Hi, Jasmine. Where's your brother? Where's your little squeaky spoiled brother? Uh, I'll buy Power Rangers for sure, and I'll mess with it on the plane and stuff like that, so. Hi. There he is. There's the little booger. You guys want some food, kitties? You want some food, kitties? Ready to go eat? Yeah, let's go eat. Let's go eat. Previous Tekken games were also a lot harder. Uh, the ease of gameplay, I think, helped its popularity. And also, the older Tekken games' presentation wasn't as strong. Uh, Tekken Tag was when they really first fig started figuring out how to do presentation. That game started looking cool. The tag combos were sick, etc., etc. And then Tekken 7, they just kicked it up a notch. Uh, uh, hey there, kitty. Oh, look at you. Let's eat, kitties. Let's eat, kitties. You're gonna eat some food. Actually, now that I think about it, I left a bunch of food, cat food in my car. I forgot to take the cat food out of my car. Good thing I have a garage, otherwise that cat food would be cooked right now. Tekken slow-mo is so good. What a smart decision. Almost food time, kitties. Look at them pacing. Like, I swear the pacing almost feels like that they don't necessarily believe I'm going to feed them, and then they meow, and then they pace, and I'm like, dude, do I ever not feed you cats? But I think their meowing is more of like, oh boy, 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 it's time to eat. Oh boy, it's time to eat. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat. I can't wait to eat. I'm so excited. Oh my god. Yeah, see, look at that. Look at Nathan. Hi, Nathan. Good boy. What? Come here, Jasmine. Come here, Jasmine. Come here, Jasmine. Come on, Jasmine. Do the cute thing, Jasmine. Do the cute thing. Yeah. Kitty cats, kitty cats, kitty cats. Kitty cats. Oh. Oh. oh, God, old man noises. You hear that? Do you hear all that grunting as I sat down on the floor? That's called old man noises, man. Dude, Nani Senpai, like I said, I have allergies too. 
I have allergies as well, but I just take allergy medication all the time. It's just how I survive it, so... Zyrtec is your friend. Zyrtec is probably the best animal allergy medication that I've taken. So that usually solves it for a lot of time. So you can permanently get rid of the allergy by means of hyposensibilization. Whoa, that is a word right there, Naughty Senpai. <laughs> what does that mean? Hyposensibilization. Hyposensi... Hyposensibilization. Bilization. Oh yeah, I see all this stuff in Germany all of a sudden. In German. Also known as an allergy vaccination is to bring an allergy sufferer to react continually less sensitive. Uh, oh, is this just getting allergy shots, basically? It's not like permanent, right? You have to keep taking it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to do that, but I used to take uh, allergy shots all the time, but it never was permanent. I used to do that all the time, uh, Naughty Senpai. Uh, but my allergist, my allergist retired, so uh, I don't have that anymore. So, really? Maybe the ones that they had weren't of that nature or something like that. Because I definitely took shots for years and years and years every week. And uh, it didn't actually work out. Uh, it, event, it never got rid of everything. Dude, if I could get rid of my pollen allergy, holy crap. I would be so happy. Holy crap. I am so allergic to pollen that it is really bad. I'm allergic to a lot of things. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a nerd, to be honest with you, because I'm allergic to everything. Do you want some food here, Nathan? If you want some food, you can jump on my lap, but I'm not going to force you into it, okay? I'm not going to force you into jumping my lap if you want this cup of food here. Do you want the food? Do you want the food, or do you not want to jump into my lap? All right. <laughs> Dude, I was dropping, like, I don't, like, uh, what was it, um, beast mode, when I fought beast mode, I dropped that one cami combo that made me super sad, <laughs> oh man, oh wait, what am I doing, jasmine eyes, we all want, we're all waiting for some, Jasmine eyes. Won't look at you and I can't survive. I've got Jasmine eyes. I owe everybody a birthday stream, but that's not going to be coming for a while because I will be traveling a lot. So I, once again, just like last year, I owe everybody a birthday karaoke stream. So that'll be coming soon. Though I'll probably do a pure rock band one. Dude, my cats are my stress reliever after everything, Lord Tiki. Lord Tiki, I mean, uh, my cats, like, not to be, like, dire or creepy or weird, but honestly, if I didn't have my cats, I don't know what I'd be doing right now, to be honest with you. There are so many days where I'm just, like, I fucking hate everything, and then my cat comes by and, like, nuzzles his head on me, or Jasmine jumps on my leg and lies down and goes to sleep, and it's just, like, all of a sudden, everything is better. But animals do that, right? I mean, when Knuckle Dude talked about his, you know, episode, that Knuckle Dude was really very, very depressed at one point in time. It was basically his dog that saved him, right? I mean, that's what animals do because the animals show you that kind of unconditional love that I feel like a lot of people feel like they're missing. You know what I mean? A lot of people out there don't feel like they have that kind of mental other living creature support and it's interesting because you know you could say oh cats and dogs they only love you because you feed them or whatever but that's not even true they develop such a bond to the person certain cats obviously it's different for different cats like a lot of cats are aloof and couldn't give a shit but a lot of cats out there is uh are, are really really 
you know, uh, very affectionate to their owner. So, <laughs> that Daigo cat was adorable. Oh my God, that Daigo cat was so cute. Holy crap. But interesting, uh, was it actually Daigo's cat? Was it actually his cat? Dude, I'll tell you right now, dude, like I was stressed out today playing, but after that click on Tekken uh, a couple of nights ago, a few nights ago on Friday, like everything just kind of like, like I felt like I played really well today. I actually felt like I played very, very well. I gained a lot of points. I got a lot higher. I, I had a five game streak. I was beating a lot of very, very strong players. And uh, I just think I was just playing smarter. I was playing more patient and, and all that stuff like that. Yeah, I was about to host someone. Is, the, is it not working very well? <laughs> I know, right? Still that cat. Cat is so cute. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how Jasmine is a little bit. She hates it when I pick someone up and stuff like that. But, oh, you want to jump in my lap, Jasmine? Here. Come here, Jasmine. Come on, Jasmine. Under the lap. Under the lap. Yeah, there we go. Come on, Jasmine. Under the lap. Under the lap. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh, that doesn't look very good from that angle. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. There you go. There you go. You want to eat the little, lick the bowl, huh? You want to lick the bowl. Well, I live in Southern California, Ani. So I basically live in a uh, Los Angeles area. Dude, this Leo shirt is sick, right? This Leo shirt is super sick. Is that all you want? Here, do you want some more? Do you want some more? And if you want that Leo shirt as well, you can pick it up at 86.com. You can actually pick it up at 86.com using that link right there, tinyurl.com slash 86jchenzor. And from there, you can purchase the shirt. And also, part of the proceeds will go to moi so that you can support me as well. So if you want to pick yourself up one of these amazing Leo shirts or a Johnny shirt or a Biken shirt or an Eno shirt or an Elfelt shirt or a Dizzy shirt, or a uh, Ramlethal shirt, you can do that right now. And if you enjoy my content and you like watching me play fighting games, you can also subscribe, donate, and also send me bits to help support my life here as a streamer and commentator. And uh, I do have a Patreon set up, and I haven't had a chance to... There's some other stuff that I want to do before I make the Patreon public, but if you just want to support my Patreon now, you're absolutely welcome to. You'll get some hints at some stuff that I've been working on, but uh, uh, it is set up, but I, I haven't made it public yet because I've got a few more things that I can do that I want to do. You can't even sub. Twitch is like super messed up. Okay, all right. I'll try to raid somebody. I'm Ron Burgundy. Browse, browse. Who do I want to host? Who is playing right now? I don't think... Uh, if you were streaming, Ani, I would do it. Oh, yeah, look at this. I went to browse, and it says error loading data, and I'm getting nothing. Twitch is dead and dead and dead, so... Yeah, I know you can't. I know you can't, Ani. So it's it's tough. It's tough. Uh, being all the way out there in South America doesn't make it easy. So really, Nari Senpai, I would have never guessed you weren't fluent in English with the way that you type. The way that you type makes it seem fine. So interesting. Okay. Everybody has you in their BL, in their block list? Why would everybody have you on their block list? That doesn't make sense at all. 
Oh, well, uh, I guess I can't raid anybody then right now. If that's the case, then thanks for tuning and watching. I may play some Tetris 99 later on stream to do my typical Monday schedule of Street Fighter V and Tetris 99. Tomorrow will be the Tuesday show. Wednesday, I'll stream a little bit more. And then Thursday, I'll be traveling up north to NCR for the weekend. After NCR, I'll be back for like one whole day on Tuesday. And then I'll be flying out to España. Uh, I'll be flying out to Spain uh, for the Fightcade offline event. And then the week after that, I will be flying to San Antonio, Texas for the Free Play Arcade Super Turbo event. So I'm going to be doing a lot of Super Turbo stuff in the next few weeks, so it's going to be exciting. They'll probably put me on Super Turbo at NCR as well, so expect a lot of Super Turbo out of me coming up soon. So, <laughs> Viva Albacete. That's the Jonas thing, right? So, But uh should be fun. should be fun. So, And uh, I'll try to do Legacy Fighters. I streamed uh, Street S Samurai Showdown 5 special with Olaf uh, a few weeks back, so... I'll see if I can do some more. I'll see if I can do some more, so. Dude, I would love to meet you in Germany, dude. I would love to meet you, so. Should be a lot of, it would be a lot of fun. But Germany hasn't uh, flown me out yet, so. But in any case, thanks guys for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Have a great night. Have a great time. Uh, I'm prob I don't even know if I can run ads. I'm going to try running some ads right now, and if you don't see them, then that means Twitch sucks, but whatever. I'm going to run it. I'm going to run it and uh, let you know when they're done. If you want to support me, please disable your ad block, but knowing that Twitch is dead, nothing's probably going to happen for three minutes anyway. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Have a great night, and I will see you perhaps later on today. Peace out.